So as you all probably know, one of the main things that I do on this channel is play Mario 64 ROM hacks. Even though I might have started to try other things out, it doesn't mean I'm going to stop playing them. But today I wanted to show you guys something a little bit different. What I'm doing here is attempting to run Mario 64 ROM hacks on the Wii using a homebrew application. Now before I actually do anything, I just want to say a few things. One, yes, I am recording my TV with a camera because I don't have access to a capture card, so sorry about the trash quality. Two, playing Mario 64 ROM hacks on Wii, or any 64 games really, this way is not at all ideal, and you will find out why when I actually start playing them. And finally, this is not a tutorial, it's more of just a demonstration. It's just for shits and giggles, really. So if you want to know how to do this yourself, I might link the tutorials that I used in the description. So the emulator is called Not64. This is the interface. Fairly basic, of course. So before playing, you have to load a game, naturally. We're going to start with Super Mario 74. Now immediately, we encounter our first inconvenience. The time it takes to load these ROMs is just ridiculous. You'd find faster loading times if you tried to play GTA 5 on the Atari Jaguar CD. Oh, it's almost done. Oh, never mind. Alright, finally. Here we go. The first thing you may notice is the frame rate counter near the top. There is a way to turn it off, but for the purposes of this demonstration, we'll leave it on for now. Right off the bat, when you load a new level, the screen freezes for a few seconds and the game makes this nasty sound like it's about to blow up. Running around the overworld here though, the game seems surprisingly stable. The graphics are working, the frame rate is solid, and it's actually playable. But I started to notice problems when I entered the first level. Now surprisingly, the issues I had were not with the graphics, the frame rate, or even the sound, but actually with the controls. Now when you push the control stick all the way up, for some reason Mario still runs slower than his normal top speed. I assume that this is because the emulator is somehow not optimized properly for using the classic controller, which is unfortunate. And considering how fucking hard Mario 74 is, you're in for a shit time. Like trying to play Dark Souls with arthritis. Although it may only be a problem for this game, so we'll just see. We're gonna try Star Road next. Right off the bat, it's apparent that this one runs significantly slower than Super Mario 74, which makes for an overall crappier experience. The counter at the top seems to indicate that it's running at about 80% as well as it should be. When you enter bob -omb Islands, however, the performance will occasionally be at 100% capacity, but this is rare and inconsistent. And in addition to that, the controller problems that I mentioned earlier seem to persist, which makes this nearly unplayable. Now fortunately, this emulator allows you to use a GameCube controller instead of a classic controller. The question is, does it fare much better? Let's find out. We're trying Super Donkey Kong 64. From playing on the overworld a little bit, we can tell that the game suffers from the same frame rate issues that you might expect from Mario Star Road. But fortunately, it would appear that the GameCube controller works much better, so the controls aren't much of a problem anymore. Now you might think the frame rate is bad right now, but wait till you see the first level. Yes. This is real. The game is literally running at a snail's pace. This is absolutely magnificent. I've literally never seen anything like it in my life. Now might be a good time to reflect on all your complaints as a gamer. Notice how so many games come out these days that have very wonky frame rates that can go from 60 to 48 in a split second and everyone goes completely nuts over it? Well this game is literally running at 12 frames per second and it's absolutely unplayable. Assuming the next Call of Duty or Battlefield that comes out on console will have an absolutely inconsistent mess of a frame rate, they will both be 10 times better than this because at least it will always be well above 12 FPS. Just... Wow. Moving on to Super Banjo-Tooie. To start out, on the overworld we see much of the same crap frame rate as earlier. But when you enter the first level it gets even worse. While not as bad as Super Donkey Kong 64, it's still slow and inconsistent. Unfortunately, this seems to be the trend with emulating these games on Wii. For the most part. But when you go over to this area, the frame rate is rock solid. I guess it's because it's a smaller room. Less to render, right? Anyway, this is nothing new. But with that out of the way, there's one last game to try. Last Impact. 
As expected, the frame rate is still dog shit, but at least it works. <laughs> or not.